My name is Georgiana Uliaric. I'm Associate Curator of Canadian Art at the Art Gallery of Ontario. I'm one of the curators of Picturing the Americas, along with Peter John Brownlee from the Terra Foundation for American Art, and Valeria Piccoli from the Pinacoteca in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So we decided, for the first time ever, surprisingly, to actually bring together landscape paintings from across the different nations in one place and really start to think about what do all of these different landscapes really tell us about where we are, how we belong, and the many ways in which we are connected, but also the many ways in which we are distinct. Land continues to have an enduring and powerful hold on our imagination even though at this time most of us in the Americas live in urban centers. We are shaped by the history. We are shaped by all of the decisions, political, social, cultural, economic, that many, many people have made before us, and especially in the 19th century. And we forget. We forget that the life we live today, believing that we are more enlightened about the environment or about the impact that we have on this land and on nature in general, continues to really be rooted in the attitudes that really began to take place and be shaped in the 19th century. Artists were really part of this collective identity, this, uh, this drive, this ambition, this vision to think about the unique sites, the unique topographies, the ancient history, and somehow create large, majestic, impressive, persuasive images um, of these places. Uh, whether they were small sketches that were done well, while they were looking at the waterfalls or while they were climbing the volcanoes, or whether they were absolutely massive canvases that would then get exhibited at big fairs and really be kind of the event of the season. Each of these images really uh, taken together built this idea of aspirations, vision, ambition that these burgeoning nations, these settler nations really had for their people and for the countries as they were being formed.